Hey everyone, this video will show you how to back up files and folders to your Microsoft Office OneDrive. That's an important step to make sure that you have all your files and folders backed up to the cloud. Uh, you're using a district device, so if, if it breaks or something happens to it, you might lose access. So you want to make sure the things you're working on and creating you have backed up to the cloud so you still have access to them when you're using a different device. Students also need to know this for times when they might be getting a different device or they have issues with theirs and need to get a loaner. And so operating within the cloud is going to make it uh, much easier to keep track of the different files and folders you're creating and using. So first, you'll see here I'm in the um, Office 365 uh, website. Most browsers, when you open them on these district devices, uh, it'll open to this site. If you don't see this, you can always uh, open a new tab and then just search uh, portal.office.com. Um, and then you might have to sign in with your district credentials, but then it'll take you to the same uh, website. Once you're here, you can go up to the little array of dots in the top left corner. If you open that, you'll see you'll have a list of all the Microsoft applications available here. The one we're looking for is the OneDrive. Uh, it should be near the top, but you might have to kind of search for it, but this is the one we're looking for. When I click on that, it should open my OneDrive in a new tab. Uh, the first place we want to go to is My Files. That's where we can uh, know where we're uploading the things that we want to store in the cloud. And I recommend just creating a new folder for all your backup files. So to do that, we're going to go up to Add New here in the top left. We're going to create a new folder. And so in that folder, you want to name it something that you're going to recognize. I'm going to call this one OneDrive uh, Backup. You can give it a different color if you want to start organizing files by colors as well. But for now, I'm going to leave it the default yellow color. I'm going to create that folder. I already use my OneDrive quite a bit, so I have quite a bit of folders in here. It is set to sort alphabetically, so I'm going to go here to this new one I just created and click on that to open it. Currently, this folder is empty, but I'm going to start adding it with uh, different files and folders from my um, computer desktop. So now once I'm inside this folder, right, I'm in my files and now I'm in the OneDrive backup folder, I'm going to go back up to add new and you'll see here I have two options for either uploading a file or uploading a folder. I'm going to start with file upload because I want to upload some files from my desktop. So it's going to open up your finder on your computer and so through your finder, you can find the different files and folders that you want to add to your OneDrive. You can see here I have some files right here. And so all you have to do is select that file and then click open. And that's going to start the upload process. Now, if you want to do more than one, um, you can hold down the command key from your keyboard. And as you're holding it down, you can select other files. And that way you can upload several different files all at one time. So I'm just going to select these three and click open. And then it's going to start the upload process. They're pretty small files, so you can see that they uploaded pretty quickly. Um, I can open up the details over here on the top right, and it'll let me know um, that upload process. Okay. Now, if you want to upload whole folders, you can do that as well. You simply go over to Add New and then so, uh, choose to upload a folder. Now in this case you can only upload one folder at a time and that might be an easier way for you to just pre-organize all your stuff on your desktop. You know, create the different folders for the different periods or contents or whatever it is you however it is you're working. And once you select that folder, same thing, come down and select upload. I'm going to go ahead and click to upload. And so I have several files in there. And you can see that it's uh, uploaded that entire folder here. And so when I click into it, it's going to have all of those different uh, documents that I had on my computer, but now they're in the cloud. So you can see if I go back to OneDrive Backup, 
I still have that folder, the files that I uploaded. And so now I would just continue to come over to add new and keep uh, uploading files and folders. The other thing that you can do is uh, you can have your um, finder open and then you can just select here multiple folders. And then if I click and drag, once I get that green plus sign, that's letting me know that it's going to drag all of those um, to that uh, folder in my OneDrive. And so that's another way to do that. Uh, so you can either go to Add New and then select particular files and folders, or you can just go to your Finder or your desktop or wherever you have those items and just drag them from there to this website. Once you get that green plus, it'll start uploading them there. Uh, just make sure if you do a lot at one time, you give it time so that it completes that upload process because if you lose connection to the internet during that process, um, whatever wasn't uploaded won't be completed. So uh, hopefully that helps get you to move all your stuff easily to your OneDrive and store your items in the cloud so that now you have access to them uh, anywhere that you have a computer and internet. Mm -hmm.